I'm going to talk a little bit about cage in chord construction. If you take uh, one of the chord forms from caged, I'll just choose the D form. And if you know the scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, one, two, three, four, then you can see where all the tones are. So I know here's the seventh. So if I wanted to play a D major seven, I need to put that note in. If I wanted to play a D dominant seven, I need to flat it. So there's a D dominant seven. If I wanted to play a minor, I need to flat the third. I know the third's there. There's another third there. So I could, I could play a D minor this way, or I could put the, the third here. There's another D minor. Um, or I could add the third up there too, or I can throw the fifth. This comes all from knowing caged and knowing where all the uh, tones of that chord are. Um, and so now we can take that whole mess and we can move it up somewhere else. And we still have that same form. See it? This is a D form chord, but I've moved it up to the seventh fret where it becomes um, an A chord. But once again, if I want the major seven, I need to know where the seven is. If I want the dominant seven, if I want the sixth chord, if I want the uh, do it in minor, I need to lower the third, A minor, um, A minor major seven, A minor seven, A minor six. Uh, if I wanted to do a flat five chord, um, here's the minor, here's a flat five right there, A minor flat five, A minor flat five major seven, A minor uh, seven flat five. Um, make the seven even flatter. Go all the way down one more, double flat the seven. We get A diminished. And so by knowing how to build chords, where the chord tones are, and knowing chord theory, you can start with cage. Just I just use one form of cage. And from that one form of cage, the D form, I don't know, what did I just build? Maybe, uh, certainly I could probably come up with 15, 20 chords just starting with that. So to me, that's the power of um, caged for me. And uh, it's, it's beyond just knowing the scales and knowing those cowboy chords. So I uh, hope that helps.